I'm Senior Airman Amanda Woke, and I'm here with Sergeant Roth. Hey, John. Ela. Hello. Sergeant Vittori. Hi, Bernie. Liz. Hi, Ken. And Lauren. Hi. Today, we're going to talk about what Valentine's Day means to these wonderful people and why it's so important to celebrate the people that we love. And we're going to talk about the true meaning of true love. Okay. So, Sergeant Roth, I'll start with you. How did you meet your husband? Well, I met my husband in, uh, in my past career field, uh, aircraft fuel systems. Um, he was being introduced to everybody who's the new guy, so um, I thought he was really confident, and as soon as he walked away, the girl next to me told me how hot she thought he was. Oh, <laughs> so, oh snap. <laughs> yeah. So a year later, I had another girlfriend come visit me, and she said, wow, he, that Roth guy is so hot. So <laughs> I finally clicked, hey. He looks pretty good, so <laughs> so we were good friends, and uh, and then we started dating. So we dated for about three years, and then um, and then got married, and we've been together for three years, married. All right, Ela, how did you meet your husband? All right, well, I met Jimmy about ten years ago in a little bar in my hometown called Bitburg in Germany, and uh, we were having a girls' night out. And as soon as we walked into the club, I spotted him. I saw him sitting at the bar because I thought he was hot. <laughs> And I said to the girls, that's the one, I want to meet this guy. And uh, we've been married for nearly eight years. Sergeant Vittori, I want you to tell me how you proposed to your wife, because you have a great story, right? Before we started dating, my wife, Bernie, told me that whoever took her to, uh, in San Antonio, in the Tower of America, whoever took her up there, she would be with the rest of her life. So it, a, more than a year down the road, when I finally proposed to her, what I did is I drove around San Antonio and I acted like I was lost. This was around dinner time. So I pulled into any random parking lot and it just happens to be Tower of America right there in front of us. <laughs> so I say, hey, let's go in for a quick bite. So we go up the tower and uh, we have a nice dinner and I have a uh, photographer pre-planned -pre there ready to take our picture after we propose. And that's why I proposed to my wife. All right, Liz, your turn. How did your husband propose to you? I had worked a, a late, an all-night shift, and, and all the next day I'd come home to take a nap, and that evening my husband woke me up, and I went downstairs to make myself a pot of coffee and pulled out the coffee filter basket, and there was an engagement ring in the coffee filter, and then he got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. Uh, we've been now married 20 years. Lauren, can you tell me what Valentine's Day means to you? What it means to me is really staying connected and making sure that you know the bottom of your heart that you love each other and um, just the little things throughout the year is pretty much what Valentine's means to me. It's consistency through a marriage. This is the Valentine's Day edition of the Lake and Heath Late Show. I'm Senior Airman Amanda Woke. Thank you so much for being here and joining us. Thanks everybody. <laughs>